No way. There's never any doubts in my mind because I'm the best in the world, even though a lot of you don't like to hear it. I just, it's facts. I'm the best. You know what I mean? I sometimes I don't want to believe in myself, but it's the truth. I'm the best. <laughs> Remember, in order for us to continue to bring you these great videos, it is critical that you share, like, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Today's video, we're going to show you some ways to move your head to develop better head movement, okay? And what we're going to talk about is three different ways that you can move your head that actually takes care of four different things that you do in boxing, okay? So in other words, what I'm talking about is slipping a straight punch can be the same thing is rolling with two punch with a punch. Okay, so in other words, Danny, Danny can roll his shoulder with the right hand. Okay, he can roll his shoulder with the right hand. He rolls his shoulder with the right hand. He can roll a hook. Okay, so now the same principle can happen when you're working on just head movement and they're not rolls. You can slip the same way. The same way he rolls with that right hand. It's the same way he can slip that jab, okay? Same way he can slip that jab. When, he, when I throw the right hand, it, he rolls with a hook like that. He goes one eye, see the same thing that happened, the right hand's coming, he do the same thing as he did when, he threw the, when I threw the hook. That's how you simp simplify things. That's what the greats do. You know, guys like Floyd Mayweather, they have slip punches. And he can be in a position, he can slip the punch and roll with the punch the same way. So in other words, it's a, it's a roll, roll, slip, slip. So after he rolls, rolls, and slips, slips, what he can do is weave and weave, okay? So we're looking at how we're developing it. We're learning how to roll, roll. Now with that same movement, I said, I, like I was saying, it's a slip, slip. Then he's going to weave, weave, and then he's going to slip that way. See, and that's for an uppercut or a body shot, okay? Like I said, he's in that shoulder trajectory to start with, so he doesn't have to dip much to already have what he needs to have there, okay? Because his foundation, he's in that position, nearly in that position already. So then when the right hand comes, he just dips, he can dip the same thing. Now he's got a left uppercut or a left hook to the body, okay? So that's what he's doing on this drill here. He, he can, and he, and he can do it on his own. So if Danny's doing, he's doing, he could do the slip, slip, and then he could actually do it, but maybe he said, maybe he does it twice. But let's say he just, let's say he just slip, slips, weave, weaves, slip, slips down. He dip, what I call, see what I call a lot of times is I always say dip, dip. I just make up my own things in the gym a lot of times. Like in other words, he, I always say, he's a slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip. See that? So we're going slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip. Okay? So that's what he's going to show you. He get, he's showing you different head movements, okay? The head movements, he's going that way, and then he's going that way. See? The head movements this way. Boom, boom. Weave, weave, dip, dip. That's it. Beautiful. So ready till we're working. We're working right here. We're going slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip. That's it. Slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip. That's beautiful. That's it. He can go slip, slip, dip, dip. Now from this position, he can weave again, right? And weave again. Or he can even slip, slip. So he could go, he could go boom, boom, weave, weave, dip, dip, slip again. Slip that way. That's it, like that. See that? That's right. So we do it again. So we're going slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip, slip. Going right back to the slip. So we go right back to the slip off of that, okay? We're going to go slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip, slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip, slip, slip. That's it. It's time for that bone could have went up in his brain. I wanted to go up in his brain. Because I always thought about that punch. I always, I always watch, listen to the doctors on television, and that's my friends. And they say when the nose going to the brain, the consequences of him getting up right away is <laughs> out of the question. So I just threw these drills out at him today, creating my... I, I make them up as I go sometimes. You know, I make up the good drills where I, where I, you know, every day in the gym, I'll try to make a new creation of a drill and 
do certain things different. And then I, you know, he he's seen this drill before, but I, sometimes I keep on breaking. I stop. I don't. I break up the monotony. I do something else, and then I'll come back to this again. You know what I mean? So right now, I just pull this one out on the spot on him. So he's boom, boom, bang, bang, slip, slip. That's it. That's it. So, Matt, so what he's doing is he is he's when he slips this way, see that? That's the same as a roll. Okay? Then when I, he slips this way, that's the same as rolling with a hook. He's got to keep he could keep it even he could keep it a, a little bit deeper, okay, just like he does with a hook. That's it. So he could slip it the same way too. He could be right there. Now he's right there to throw the left hook right over the top. Okay, because he didn't drop this shoulder and, ha and have to come, like if he drops this shoulder, he's closer to go to the body. If he wants to come to the head off of the slip, he's got to travel a little further if he's down here. Like if he dips here, he's got to travel a little further. Now that's a good shot where you make a guy think, you make a guy think you're going to go to the body and come back, but if you slip it straight, right hand straight across, you're going to be closer it's all about positioning to throw it just straight across, just the way you roll. Like in other words, he rolls that way. So the same thing he could do when he slips it. He goes right there, and then he's right there to hit me with a hook. Okay, just like I throw the hook, just like a roll is. The same thing. He's going here, and he's coming right across because I'm going here right across, and he's right there to hit me. Okay, so the positioning is so key, and, it, and, it, and it, like I said, you can simplify things where you're doing the same thing with different things. Like I said, okay, so this is a roll. So you could work the drill like this, two rolls and then two slips. And he did, he did the same thing. He did the same thing he did with the rolls. There, tight, slip, tight. That's it. So he's going one, two, slip, slip. Now he's right there. He's right there to hit me with a hook because he's right there tight, right? So he's doing it like that. He's slip, slip. Boom, he's right there. Bam. Okay, so we're going to go Roll, roll, slip, slip, weave, weave. Now this one, he's going to slip a straight punch again, but he's going to dip. Now he's right there to hit me with a right uppercut. Boom. Now he's going to throw the right hand. He's going to dip. Boom. That's it. Boom, boom, right? Okay. Now from that position right there, I, he's going to go right back. I'm throwing a straight punch at him again. Even if I'm a little further out from distance, or he's just practicing his head movements. So I, He's going to actually go right across the grain, but he's not going to go across the grain because he's turning. He's not going to move his head this way. He's going to take those shoulders and cut that. Boom. See that? A lot of people think he would be running into the jab. It all depends on distance. It all depends on distance. Don't get me wrong. It's a good drill for him to learn how to really create great head movement. So if he's in tight, he would probably, and a guy threw a hook. A guy would probably throw a hook if he was in tight. So in other words, I go here, here, he goes here, here, weave, weave, he goes here, here. Now, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm in close for fighting him here, okay, I'm going to throw a left hook so he could just weave underneath that. But if I'm a little further out, okay, and I, and I throw, and I, and I go roll, roll, slip, slip, weave, weave. Now from that position, right, so if he's in that position off the right hand and I come back to throw a jab, he could get that. Now he really got me. See? In other words, he's dipping his head that way on me like that and I throw a jab at him and he, boom, and he really going to get me because he got that angle. He got me to throw that. He put his head in a spot, puts his head, dips his shoulder down there like that and I try to throw the jab, boom, look at that, bam, now he's really got the angle. Right? Okay, so, but if I was in tighter, if you make this dip one more time from the outside, he dips to the outside like that, boom, and, I got, and I'm at a distance, and you should be in here, so you got, that's it, at a distance, and I got to throw you, look at that, woo, you got the angle now, okay, because I threw the jab over there, and now you went over there, so you put your head there, I threw the jab over there, boom, you got that angle, one more time, you go that way, boom, yeah, or over the top, right, but you're here, I love the uppercut off that shot because I think the guy is, is punching down. The guy is punching down at you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's punching down. So he's, he's really putting his chin down too mm -hmm. because you took his head down there 
I mean, you took his vision down there, so he, when he dips that way, he's shooting down at you that way, so he's got his chin down, and he's really, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, he's going downward. That's, that's the way I'm looking at it, that he, because you made, he, you made him throw his jab at a downward trajectory, and now he's there. They really have, you really got him in position. You could slide that right underneath there, uh -huh. okay? So what we're talking about, again, is like I said, all the ways you can move your head and simplify things. So if it, like what I was talking about, if he's from a distance, and, I, and he's from a distance, and he goes roll, roll, slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip, slip again, boom, that's it, that's it. Slip again tight, boom, okay, weave, weave, dip, that's it. When you dip, dip again, dip, dip, now slip, slip, that's it, that's it. That slip, that roll, people don't realize that like, like when he dips, he could throw an uppercut, boom, right? But he's almost in that same position anyway, so the same thing, I could slip, you could slip a straight punch and throw that uppercut right in there too, boom. Okay, especially if a guy leans, whew, bam, he gets caught right there with it. Boom, just from him just turning his shoulders. He don't gotta dip down there to throw an uppercut, okay? Or even dip, even dip and lower, you don't have to be right there. No, no I'm sorry, not lower, but just, just a little bit. Boom, you can do it, and that's, that's, that's a good shot. And you go to the body, you know what I mean? But you can go down there and, and throw that uppercut or that body shot, but at the same time, you don't have to go down there to throw an uppercut. You could just twist across, and that uppercut's right there, short and sweet though. Boom, boom. So like I said, you could just keep being creative with that, with that drill. You know, like I said, roll, roll, slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip, weave again, slip, slip, that's it, weaves, right? I might roll, I might roll, roll, slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip. Okay, there from right from that position. If he's in, if I, like I said again, if I'm in tight, his best move, because me, if I'm in tight like that, I'm not gonna throw him a jab most of the time anyways. I wouldn't, why would I throw the jab, right? I'm in position to be in position to throw a hook. So his move off of that is gonna be the weave. If, I, if, if he dips, if he dips, if he dips there and I'm from a distance, okay, I might not throw the hook unless I would step. If I step, then he's even got more time to weave underneath it. So from that position, he's gonna go, ah, I'm, gonna throw, I'm gonna throw the jab. And like I said, I'm throwing in a downward trajectory a little bit because he's, he, he, you, he could use that. So as you learn to move your head, you can learn how to bait people as well. You can learn how to bait. You know what I'm saying? All these head movements can be bait as well and they could be traps. Like I said, he could take he could take his he could take his head down there, and just that could be just a head movement to bait me to throw that jab there, and then he's got boom, all right, okay. He might take his he might take his head down that way, so I can he can go this way and hit me that way, all right. So when he's working that drill by himself, he just he just keeps on being creative like this. Beautiful. All right. Well, I, it would have been, it would have happened to any fighter because at this particular point I was throwing, I look and I say hydrogen bombs. And just a little bonus, like you, like I said, like little, now just another little thing. You, he might, he might be slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip. Right? And then, and then from there, he just learns how to weave again. And then instead of another weave, instead of that one, he's going to go. He's gonna, let's say he's going to go. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go roll, roll, slip, slip, weave, weave, dip, dip, roll. Instead of the next roll, he just, he just shoulder rolls it. Again, that way. See? So we're going to do that, right? We're going we're to slip, slip, weave, weave, dip. Dip, weave, roll. <laughs> See what I mean? See, a good thing to do, like I, like I always talk about, is let the fighter feel it himself and create his own imagination and be creative than you always doing it. So in other words, I'm doing it, I'm giving him ideas by, by dictating and by making him, you know, I'm, I'm in control of the drill, right? 
But then what I do is I step away and say, work all those things in the way you want to work them. It, beautiful, beautiful. With that roll, with that roll, that long roll, you do, that big roll, you do. Now dip right back off to the left on that one. Boom, boom. That's it, right? As you can see, he's being very, very creative, and that's what you want. And I might watch him, and I might throw something in, and tell him to do do something. Like I said, roll and then dip again. Roll. Dip, roll off the dip, like that. See, roll off the dip again. That's it, or dip off the roll, I should say. I'm saying it backwards, but he knew what I meant. That's it. There you go, roll dip. That's it, roll dip weave. That's it. Roll dip weave, roll. Dip, weep. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Good job. So there's just a great drill and a way to develop head movement no matter where you are. You, you know, you can be in your home and you can be in a hotel room, you know, shadow boxing and moving your head and, and being creative with head movement. You could do that anywhere. So don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go to the website, www worldclassboxinggym.com. Also, follow me on Instagram at Tommy Boxing, and I'll see you guys next time.